Sam, we're going to need another ambulance. There's a body of a young boy in the dumpster. Hickman? He's been badly mutilated, John. Tortured, really. My God, Sam. Has Bob's wife, Catherine, been informed? When the call came in, I was told Hickman's captain was headed to their house. They have a little girl, don't they? Yeah. Valerie. Her name is Valerie. Look, John, I know you and Bob went back a long way. A long way? Hell, Sam, Bob and I went through the academy together. Shared a ride for five years. I'm that little girl's godfather. Sam, Bob was my best friend. Yeah, yeah, you could say we went back a long way. I'm sorry, John. I. Yeah, I'm sorry too. Sorry the city is so full of dirtbags, creeps, and losers. Bob was a great guy, Sam. A great cop. Who the hell would do this to him? What the hell was he doing out there? I don't know, John. It's your job to find out. My job is to pick up the body and find the cause of death. Well, that was, uh, that's, that's interesting. I, I would like both speech and text, please. But I guess you can't do that. Okay. Well, uh, hello and good morning, everybody. And welcome to Sierra Saturday and Police Quest open season unofficially police quest 4 all right uh, let's grab you detective what are you searching for detective okay so now we have our little kit of stuff here the putty knife is made in the USA 24-inch pry bar. Very okay, so yes. Uh, let's take a look here and see what we've got. The tortured and tormented body of Bob Hickman, LAPD, lies lifeless among the alley debris. An obvious case of felonious homicide. Right. Okay, so... We have a cigarette Detective, but Detective, this cigarette could be evidence. The torch. An empty holster can mean only one thing another gun on the street. A gruesome sight. Contusions and burn marks appear on Hickman's abused body. Yeah, that's kind of curious. Graffiti mars the neighborhood. Now, if I remember right, we have. Yes, we do. We have a. We have a notepad that we're, we need to jot everything down Graffiti on. Graffiti is often left behind by gangs. Recording the symbol could prove useful. So we want to go back in here and look the at him. Yes, yes, yes. Noting that a cigarette lay near the body could prove important later. An empty holster could... An empty... Recording information at the crime scene ensures accurate reports later. Yes, it does. Detective, this... It's the Lucky Mini Mart dumpster. It's possible there's something in there that we need. Oh, hello. The, the young boy lies strewn in the dumpster. John, have you found something? Officer Woodbury, when we're finished here... Yes, sir. Recording information at the crime scene ensures accurate reports later. Detective, this information is already recorded. Okay, I didn't know if you had... John, have you found something? Yeah. 
Yeah, I would say I have. Officer Woodbury, I'm taking over as lead investigator. Yes, sir, Detective Carey. I have my crime scene log for you. Excellent. Uh, but yes, Mr. Coroner? Sam, we're gonna need another ambulance. There's a body of a young boy in the dumpster. We'll get another car here, John. All right, so... Alley crime scene log prepared by Officer Woodbury. That's, that's good. Do we need to do it? Standard any? weight paper. Those two items don't go together. Okay, well, I don't know that. Okay, I don't think there's a whole lot it else. It looks like it's going to be a busy night for you, Chester. Unfortunately, our streets are being taken over by violence. Innocent people being killed. It's uncivilized, sir. All right, go do your, uh... Chester, take over on the evidence. So yes, now she's detective. gonna go around and take pictures. Yeah, this one is, um... This one is very, very preachy and not the good kind of preachy, really. Um, this was actually, this is the one that was written by the, uh, the L.A. police chief during the 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 uh, the Rodney King beating and stuff like that and basically he was the one that was like oh no there's nothing wrong we did, they did everything right and kind of really sparked and and exacerbated the uh, the problems of the time but yeah um John we can handle it from here stop by tomorrow for the autopsy we'll know more then Gotcha. 5.30 a.m. Parker Center, L.A., California. But yeah, this one is very, um... Gary Hickman's death isn't just your personal tragedy. It's a tragedy for the entire force. We've lost a friend, a father, and one damn good cop. As you know, you've been assigned the lead investigator on this case, and I'm going to be looking to you for answers. I'm going to ask you to put aside your personal feelings and deal with this investigation in a professional manner. If you don't think you're up to it, I want to know now. Neither you, the public, nor the department can withstand not knowing the truth. I want you to comb that neighborhood. I want every rock turned over and every person interviewed. Remember, Hickman was not the only fatality tonight. The family of that boy is grieving also. Got it, yes, boss. Sir. For your information, the boy has been identified as Bobby Washington. As for Hickman, I think there is something you should know. Maybe you already do. But here it is straight. Hickman's lieutenant, Jim Veraz, informed me that Hickman was having trouble with stress, trouble at home. Veraz told me that Hickman had been in a fragile mindset, that working undercover was getting to him. You know, the violence of the streets can get to anyone. I'm not knocking Hickman. I just want you to know how the department viewed his current capacity. Right. Okay, Kerry. You know what you need to do. Go out there and do it. Find who killed Hickman. Find who killed the Washington youth. Any questions? No, Lieutenant. All right, then. Get to work. And, uh, Kerry, when you see Catherine... Please extend my deepest sympathies. Yeah, I, I I will. Too bad about Hickman, Jr. Guess this hits you pretty hard, huh? Well, hell, don't let it. Damn scumbags out there. They're just goddamn lucky I'm a desk jockey. If I was on the street... I'd whip their collective disrespectful butts. You know, yeah. Junior, this case is gonna generate a lot of paperwork, a lot of calling. You're just goddamn lucky you got me as your partner in this one. Damn lucky. I'm not so sure luck has anything. Your action is unwarranted. Hey. Your action. Hey. Your action is unwarranted. It's your very own desk. Great. 
You take a 3.14 follow-up report form out of your desk drawer. Okay, that's that's nice. What is that? Uh, uh, okay, so we have a picture. The photograph taken of you and Hickman at the lake. The time you caught the big one. Right. Uh, and there is a number on there that I will probably want to have. Um, where is my notepad? Well, here's a notepad, so it's 8-8326. Right. Departmental follow-up form 3.14. Alley crime scene log prepared by Officer Woodbury. Uh, okay, Carrie, you're scheduled for combat qualifications this Wednesday. No excuse will be accepted for missing your qualification appointment as you are no longer eligible for any exceptions at this time. Your last month's score were, scores were low. I suggest you make up time for your schedule to get out to the range and brush up before you... Your score really counts. Right. Okay. You write up a 3.14 documenting the incidents relating to the... Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay. A more prof... Man, this guy is mouthy. Hey, here. Here you go. File Hal. this. Sure, Junior. Right, so do I give this to Pal, you? Well, here's the Hickman crime scene log. It was prepared by Officer Woodbury from the 77th. Hey, you're damn lucky you got me taking care of this book, Junior. Damn yeah, you, lucky. You're damn lucky you're not out, actually out on the streets. Otherwise, man, you would probably be fired by now with your attitude. Um. Okay, so eight eight three two six, and it was Gunner. Oh wait, uh, possibly my badge six six one two. You would just six one two, and. Gunner? Yes, okay. On server Sunny. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, a nice little nod to the original. Um, it's RB. Yeah, yes, okay. So RBGB means rude boys get bail. This symbol is found on buildings near the, where the gang has committed a crime. RG, RBGB is a violent South Central gang. Led by Ragtop Split, Ragtop Spiff, and is believed that Spiff is an alias, as no social security number exists under that name. Gang activities center around gun trafficking. This includes both imported and stolen goods. The gang has claimed responsibility for many violent and torturous deaths. This gang should be approached with caution. It is believed that this gang has international connections. Various members of this gang are suspected of being involved in several unsolved murders and disappearances, disappearances that have taken place over the past several, over the past few years. Okay. Uh. I don't know. Do they have no information found? Okay. All right. Well, I think that is a good start. That is a good start. And we will be back later on this afternoon with round two uh, and see if we can't find out some more about what's going on. Maybe do a little bit of target practice the whole nine yards. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. And don't forget to put the subscribe button down below so that you can
Stay tuned for more from O Love Productions. If you wanna see some crazy Here we go. So lazy, but you should meet me and my friends. Even though okay. we got no money, but sure is Wait. Not funny. Yeah, if you're 40 now, now how were you that old in 1979? Shouldn't you have been like one or so? A vampire stake through the heart. It, everybody thinks, oh, well, you just take like a piece of wood and put a sharp end on it. Except for the fact that it has to go through a lot of it, it has to